Toyota is set to collaborate with Huawei on car manufacturing. This is big news, and as soon as the news broke, the internet exploded. According to reports, Toyota will collaborate with Huawei, along with another company named Moment. These three companies plan to jointly develop a brand new intelligent driving solution, each showcasing their strengths. In fact, Toyota and Moment have been collaborating since 2020 to develop high precision maps based on cameras and real time updating services. Last year, Moment completed a Series C financing round of $500 million, with Toyota as its main investor. As for the collaboration between Toyota and Huawei, it mainly focuses on intelligent cockpit technology. For example, the in-car information system of the latest ninth-generation Camry on the market is developed jointly by Toyota and Huawei, equipped with Qualcomm Snapdragon 8155 chip and a large memory combination of 12GB plus 128GB. In the automotive industry, the collaboration between Toyota and Huawei is seen as a counterattack. This alliance signifies the rise of the Chinese automotive market and also reveals the core position of intelligent driving technology. Toyota will incorporate Huawei's intelligent driving solution into its vehicles, which is not just a simple collaboration but a profound insight into the future landscape of the automotive industry. This collaboration will redefine the industry landscape, demonstrating the intertwining of technology, market, and strategy. Is this true? Dear viewers, welcome back to our channel. I am delighted to share and discuss the following topics with the audience. 1. What are the motivations behind Toyota's decision to collaborate with Huawei? How do they view the development prospects of the Chinese market? 2. For intelligent driving technology, can the collaboration between Huawei and Toyota bring greater innovation and breakthroughs? Is this collaboration model replicable within the industry? 3. In the increasingly competitive global automotive market, can the collaboration between Toyota and Huawei achieve a competitive advantage on the international stage? How to evaluate its future market performance? Thinking back to the Chinese automotive market four years ago, it seemed like an era dominated by joint venture brands. At that time, whether on the streets, in advertisements, or on billboards, the presence of Japanese, German, American, and Korean cars could be seen everywhere. They occupied the dominant position in the market with their brand influence and mature technology, while domestic brands seemed to be struggling. Domestic cars had relatively low recognition among consumers and a significant technological gap, especially in terms of technology. However, the wheel of time rolls forward, and today's Chinese automotive market has undergone earth-shaking changes. The market share of domestic car brands has not only reversed, but also made leapfrog progress in core technologies. This is thanks to the unremitting research and development efforts of domestic manufacturers and the support of national policies, enabling domestic cars to quickly emerge in emerging fields such as electric vehicles and intelligent connected vehicles. In this wave of change, Huawei, as one of China's tech giants, has finally reaped the rewards of its deep cultivation in the intelligent driving solution. Toyota, a Japanese giant that once sat firmly atop the global automotive market in terms of sales, has confirmed that it will adopt Huawei's intelligent driving solution. This signifies that Huawei has not only successfully secured cooperation with the first Japanese heavyweight car manufacturer, but also indicates that Chinese technology companies are playing an increasingly important role in the global automotive industry's wave of intelligence. For Huawei, this is an important step towards international recognition of its intelligent driving technology, albeit a small step, which embodies the hard work and wisdom of countless R&D personnel. For the Chinese automotive industry, this achievement is not only a qualitative leap but also a declaration to the world of its ambition to transform from a follower to a leader in the global automotive industry. Now, we are witnessing domestic car brands gradually moving from the periphery to the center stage, competing with international brands and leading in some technological areas. 
Domestic car brands are rewriting the global automotive market with their own strength, and all these changes begin with that seemingly inconspicuous but full of possibilities small step. In the era of intelligent vehicles, autonomous driving technology is considered crucial. Most car manufacturers do not outsource this technology. For example, Tesla independently develops it, while companies like Xiaomi, Neo, Li Auto, Xpeng, and BYD choose to collaborate with NVIDIA to develop their own systems. Globally, only a few companies, including NVIDIA in the United States, Tesla, Intel, and Huawei in China, have self-developed capabilities. Competition in intelligent driving technology is becoming increasingly fierce worldwide. Currently, only a few companies have mature intelligent driving technology and occupy a significant position in the market. Besides these four leading companies, it becomes extremely difficult for other manufacturers to further develop and integrate advanced intelligent driving systems. Intel, as a globally renowned chip manufacturer, started relatively late in the field of intelligent driving. The reason it can obtain a ticket to the intelligent driving field largely depends on its acquisition of the Israeli company Mobileye. Mobileye has profound technical accumulation and market influence in the field of autonomous driving assistance systems, and this acquisition undoubtedly accelerates Intel's development in intelligent driving technology. In the vast Chinese market, Huawei stands out as the only local company that has penetrated the entire technology chain of intelligent driving. Huawei not only uses its self-developed MDC-810 auxiliary driving chip to enhance the intelligence level of vehicles, but also equips its cockpit system with self-developed high-silicon Kirin chips, demonstrating Huawei's comprehensive technical strength in the field of intelligent driving. For global car manufacturers, if they want to build their own intelligent driving system, the choice of partners seems to be limited to these four major manufacturers, with no other options. Interestingly, Toyota, as one of the world's largest car manufacturers, did not choose to collaborate with NVIDIA or Intel but chose Huawei as its partner in the field of intelligent driving. The reasons behind this decision are worth delving into. Firstly, from a business perspective, Choosing to collaborate with Huawei can be seen as Toyota's gesture of goodwill towards the Chinese market. China is not only the world's largest automotive market but also the leader in the electric vehicle market. Considering the relatively low penetration rate of electric vehicles in overseas markets, which is less than 10%, and the more vigorous demand in the Chinese market, this strategy is undoubtedly wise for Toyota. Furthermore, there are significant technological differences between fuel vehicles and electric vehicles, especially in achieving high-precision intelligent driving. Due to the limitations of fuel vehicles in electrification and electronicization, they often struggle to achieve the same intelligent driving functions as electric vehicles. Therefore, for traditional car manufacturers like Toyota, transitioning to electrification and intelligentization is an inevitable trend and collaboration with Huawei provides strong technical support for this transformation. The advantage of motor-driven high-precision control enables electric vehicles to lead in autonomous driving technology compared to traditional fuel vehicles, which cannot achieve the same level of control precision due to the limitations of internal combustion engines. Although fuel vehicles can enhance entertainment functions by introducing 48V mild hybrid systems, they cannot compete with electric vehicles in terms of driving technology. In order to maintain a leading position in overseas markets, Toyota, leveraging its strength in the traditional fuel vehicle field while not giving up the Chinese market, chooses to cooperate with Huawei to quickly enhance product competitiveness using Huawei's intelligent driving technology. This indicates that Toyota is no longer seeking to surpass Chinese car companies in the field of electric vehicles but hopes to maintain competitiveness in the Chinese market through cooperation with Huawei. BYD's impact on Japanese car sales is significant. In March, Japanese brands experienced a sales decline, GAC Toyota's sales dropped by 32%, selling 55,000 units, 
a significant decrease from 81,000 units in the same period last year. GAC Honda and Dongfeng Honda together only sold 60,000 units. Dongfeng Nissan grew against the market by 4%, with total sales of 59,000 units. And the main sales model, the Silphi, sold 70,000 units in the first quarter. Although Dongfeng Nissan achieved growth, the increase does not seem to have brought profit growth. Finally, let me summarize today's video, hoping it brings some inspiration and value to you. Huawei, as a leader in global communication technology, has a leading advantage in fields such as 5G, AI, and cloud computing. Its high-precision maps, in-car operating systems, and other technologies provide strong technical support for intelligent driving. Toyota, on the other hand, is a leader in the automotive industry, renowned for its rich experience in car manufacturing and excellent quality management. Its deep understanding of automotive safety, environmental protection, and other aspects enables it to better integrate intelligent driving into traditional cars. As for moment, although this company is relatively low-key, its achievements in visual recognition technology cannot be underestimated. Its deep learning algorithms and image processing technologies will provide key support for the realization of intelligent driving. In this collaboration, the three companies will share their respective technological advantages and jointly create a brand new intelligent driving solution. This will not only promote the rapid development of intelligent driving technology, but also have far-reaching effects on the entire automotive industry. This collaboration will accelerate the commercial application of intelligent driving technology. By integrating the technological resources of the three companies, it can effectively reduce research and development costs, improve research and development efficiency, and thus accelerate the promotion and application of intelligent driving technology. In addition, the collaboration of the three companies will also promote the formulation and standardization of industry standards, which is conducive to the large-scale application of intelligent driving technology. This collaboration will further promote the digital transformation of the automotive industry. With the development of new technologies such as 5G and AI, the automotive industry is undergoing profound changes. This collaboration will help better apply these new technologies to the automotive industry, promoting the transformation of cars from traditional transportation tools to intelligent, networked mobile terminals. This collaboration will help enhance the safety and environmental friendliness of automobiles. By introducing advanced intelligent driving technology, it can improve the driving safety of automobiles and reduce the occurrence of traffic accidents. At the same time, by optimizing driving behavior, it can also reduce the energy consumption of automobiles, which is conducive to environmental protection. The collaboration between Huawei, Toyota, and Moment will not only bring new possibilities for the development of intelligent driving technology but also have far-reaching effects on the entire automotive industry. For users who are concerned about new technology, intelligent driving, and the automotive industry, this collaboration is undoubtedly worth looking forward to. Feel free to share in the comments section. Today's video ends here, see you next time for more exciting content. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.